Hello Captains and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. Today we're going to look at the reputation system, specifically Tier 6 reputations in the reputation system. Uh, a long while ago, when the reputation system first came to the game, we only had five tiers of the reputation system to level up to. And once you got to tier five, then you could use what's called a sponsorship token on another character to increase the speed, double the XP you would get to level up the reputation. But tier five was the max. That was it. Well, a little while ago, or last year, not too long ago, they upgraded the reputation system to tier six. That means we had a, another tier now in the reputation system to upgrade to, or to grind to, whatever way you want to put that. And what this allows is upgraded gear, upgraded specifications in terms of traits. Your uh, traits that it provides are of a higher quality. Uh, some other new things as well with that. And so that's what we're going to explore today in this video is I am going to show you the benefits of getting the tier 6 reputation all the way upgraded. I'm going to show you what happens when you activate and upgrade to that tier 6 reputation. And I'm going to show you uh, what the benefits are, what it provides doing that, and the gear that you can now purchase when it is upgraded like that. So I'm going to bring up my reputations now. This is my main character, the doctor, a science character. I'm going to bring up my reputation. And what you will notice here is that everything is at tier 5 right now, except one is tier 6 and one is 0. My Gamma Task Force, I haven't worked on on this character, and that is because I'm actually working on it on my Dominion Faction character. And on my Dominion Faction character, uh, I am doing that reputation, and I've almost got him finished in it. And what I'm going to do is take a sponsorship token from the Dominion Faction character and put it on here, my main character, and double the XP and rank it up faster that way. But I'm not ready to do that yet, so just ignore the Gamma Task Force one for at the moment. We're going to look at all the other ones. Last night, I hit the first one, which was Tier 6 in the Task Force Omega reputation. I went ahead and unlocked that. I wanted to see for myself what it had and what it got and see if this would make a viable video or not. And after looking at it, I was like, yeah, I can make a video out of this and I can show everybody what upgrading to that tier six uh, it will do for you in each of the reputations. Most of my reputations are ready to go. Uh, I have one that's not. Nukara is not ready yet. I'm going to need another, another 20 hours to finish the thing on it before it's ready to go. But my other one should be ready to go. This one I've already turned in the uh, stuff for. It's at 250,000. And now you see I can do, uh, I should be able to do the upgrade on it, right? Oh, where's the upgrade on it? Oh, it's right here. New Romulus claim tier 6 reputation. That's right. Okay, so I can do the tier 6 reputation on, on my new Romulus. I can collect the rewards, and I should be able to do it on all of these. I think I'm at a level where, yeah, I can turn in the marks here, and because I'm at 245,000, so I should be able to turn in the reward for each of these and go ahead and upgrade every one of them except Nukara. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you the benefits that you get because of that. So first of all, like I said, I already did Tier 6 Omega, so um, don't need to worry about that one. But I will show you what's available in it. We'll get to that in a second. But let's upgrade one so that you can see what happens. We'll start with New Romulus here. Go to Upgrade, Claim Tier 6 Reputation. Your reputation has increased to Tier 6 with New Romulus. Run this project to unlock progression into the next tier. So we do that. You only need five Romulan marks. Fill all. Thankfully, we have that fill all button now. I love that. And then when I hit this, my new Romulus should now be tier six. And there it is, tier six. Accolade complete, new Romulus. You get reputation ability point, and I got nine Romulan somethings. Congratulations on reaching tier six of the new Romulus reputation. So let's read about this to see what we get. What happens automatically by reaching Tier 6? By reaching Tier 6, you gain the following. All of your unlocked new Romulus reputation traits are now automatically more effective. So I don't have to do anything. My traits are automatically more effective on this character now, if I'm using any of them. 
all the new Romulus Reputation Project weapons have increased in damage and effectiveness. So any Romulus or new Romulus uh, Reputation Project weapons that I have purchased will automatically get a damage increase. Your Reputation Progress Social Zone ability will now show that you've completed the new Romulus Reputation. So I've got a Social Zone ability that shows I've completed the new Romulus Reputation. Now it says, what can I acquire at Tier 6? By reaching Tier 6, you now have access to account-wide reputation gear discounts. It reduces the project costs for all future reputation gear projects for every character on your account. Does not affect elite mark requirements. Alternate energy types. You can obtain... Excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Um... Alternate energy types. You can obtain new energy type variants, i.e. phaser, disruptor, etc. for each reputation project weapon. Alternate vanity shield visuals. Obtain a new color tinted variant of the Riemann new shield of the Riemann new Romulus shield visuals and premium items. You may claim a fleet ship module and a captain skills retrain token. So a ton of new stuff that we can get with our tier 6 reputation now. And our traits are automatically better. Our weapon energy types are better. Are better. You got to count wide reputation gear discounts for that reputation. So just a ton of benefits by unlocking that tier 6 ability. So this looks like tier 6 reputation stuff is going to be quite cool. I'm going to go through and do all of these. Let's see. Oh, no. See, that didn't take me all the way up to 250000 that I need for that. So I still have to do another one. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't taking me up there. Even though it says it's giving me 5,000 uh, reputation points, it's not actually bringing me up to 250000 And I don't know why. Really strange. Okay, well, anyway... Looks like I'm going to have to actually do some more rounds. See, that one took me up to 250,000. So I can go ahead and upgrade that one now. But this is basically the process you'll have to go through to unlock Tier 6. I won't do every single one right now, but we'll just look through a couple of these to see what the uh, re extra re rewards are. They all pretty much bring you the same thing. You get an accolade, and it tells you what you can buy and what the benefits are. So let's look at tier 6 Omega and see what we get on that now that we have uh, tier 6 opened up on it. Under uh, ground gear, we still have the same adapted Mako personal armors, the same adapted Mako personal disruptor weapon, there's still Mark 13 so that doesn't change. Same stuff there, um, same there, same there, personal disruptor, shield. So all of that is the same so far underground on Omega. Let's look at space. Under space, we still have adapted Mako Convariant Shield. We still have the same deflector, impulse, deflector dish, impulse, regenerative. So everything looks to be the same under the ground and the space. And it's all Mark 13. So that's all the same. Nothing changes there. Let's look under Omega Reputation. Ah, here's where the good stuff is. Okay, so under the repu where it says Omega Reputation field, you can claim an account-wide Omega Task Force Reputation Gear discount. Claim an account-wide Omega Task Force Reputation Gear discount. This will discount requirements of normal marks, dilithium, and energy credits. So you need 100,000 energy credits to activate it, 25,000 dilithium to activate it, 5 Borg neural processors, and 175 marks. So it does have some, some big requirements there, especially on the dilithium, 25,000 dilithium, just to activate this ability. But then once you have it on my entire account, every character I have on this account, the Omega reputation will have less marks and dilithium and energy credits that I need to provide in order to get the gear from that reputation. So we'll do a comparison. I want to see what the difference is. So we'll wait. I'm not going to activate that just yet because I want to see what the comparison is between before and after. 
Okay, uh, we also get a fleet ship module. Here we can reclaim a fleet ship module. Claim a character bound fleet ship module. This item can be used for purchasing fleet ships from a ship store. So we do get that now. We've got a retrain token. Claim a retrain token. This item can be used to retrain your ground and space captain skills. And this is cool. We've got an Omega Task Force Vanity Shield. Claim a Tier 6 variant Vanity Shield based on shield visuals from this reputation. All you need is 300 marks for that. Uh, you can continue to work toward the task force at this point I don't really need to so those are the really the benefits there on the new gear a vanity shield a retrain ticket token a fleet ship module and the gear account wide gear discount which is probably very important because that can really help you out especially as you level other characters up on your account so that can be very cool um, let's see if it's the same on the other one let's look at counter command here Yep, you can claim a fleet ship module. You can claim a retrain token. Uh, yep, here you go. Account-wide reputation gear discount as well. So pretty much all the same. Oh, and a uh, counter-command vanity shield also. So you get all that too. So all of that's the same, I guess, on each reputation. You're going to get all of those benefits. But as far as the ground and space gear sections go it looks like nothing changes there looks like you still get all the same stuff and it's still mark 13 nothing changes there so really the change is under the counter command reputation thing itself that's where your new your new stuff is for tier 6 but then of course you do have automatic trait enhancements so each trait that is unlocked on here should technically now be of a higher quality um, so like all the stuff that you get that unlocks at each one should be a higher quality I guess we have to go to traits to see what those would be oh all my traits have disappeared oh because they've reset Ah, that's why. So there's something right there you need to be aware of. If you get the tier 6 reputation, it may delete those traits out of your traits. So you need to make sure to get those traits back in. So check your traits, because they may have disappeared. So stuff like this, ah, see it says rank 2 now. Like, this is the Omega reputation trait. This is the whole repairing nanites. Um is now a plus 50% hole regen, so it's rank 2. The nanoprobe feedback here on the um, counter command is now uh, improved. Basically, the stats are just all improved on these. So if it says rank 2, that means that you have hit tier 6 in your reputation, and those are automatically updated. Plus 5% critical hit chance. I'm sure that was plus 2.5 before, so everything's like doubled. So that's pretty cool. You automatically get better traits. I like that ability. I like that. Just remember, it seems like it's going to remove it from your 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 active traits and stuff. So you have to put them back in. So once you hit tier 6, make sure you check out your traits because you could be missing a lot of them. So that's very cool. I like that. I like this improved traits thing. And then you should also have improved weapons. Weapon damage? Is it talking about the weapon damage here in the store? That's what I'm thinking. Is if you choose weapons from here, it's going to have increased damage. But it could be the weapons from here. I just don't think so. Like the ground gear weapon. Does this have increased damage? I'm not sure which one, to be honest with you. Oh no, it is this one. It says it right there. Right there at the top, plus 2% bonus all damage due to your Task Force Omega Tier 6 reach. So it's the weapons, it's the gear weapons themselves from the reputation, not the store weapons. Not the store weapons. Y yeah, those don't have that bonus. So if you have, let's say, the Mako Personal Disruptor weapon from the Omega reputation, now you have an increased plus 2% bonus, uh, bonus weapon damage. 
So that should go for all the weapons. Yep. And the same thing on counter command since I just upgraded that. Go to the uh, weapon that it has. Yep, plus 2% bonus all damage due to your counter command tier 6 reached. So I'm glad that it tells you which ones you're getting the bonus on. So that's pretty cool too. So if you use reputation weapons, reputation gear weapons, ground weapons, you're going to get a plus 2% bonus all damage by just having the tier 6 unlocked. In addition, of course, to those traits, the uh, rank 2 traits. So really good increases in stats just by having that tier 6 uh, upgraded. So it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Cool. So that's what you get. I like it. Let's do a little comparison and see what the reduction in uh, marks and stuff that's required. Let's um, let's test this. Let's change my character. I want to test this real quick. I'm going to go to um, this guy here. And I'm going to look in my Omega reputation on him and see how much it costs to buy something. So let's see. Task Force Omega. Let's say I want to buy, you know, the um, the adapted Mako personal. Let's just pick. Let's pick something in space. Space gear. Let's pick the. Uh, mm, let's pick something that does use a lot of marks and stuff. The um, adapted Mako covariant shield. Okay, that requires forty thousand energy credits. Okay, 34,000 dilithium, 5 neural processors, and 1,000 omega marks. So that's quite an investment to buy this little piece of thing here. 1,000, 5, 34,000 dilithium, 40,000 energy. That's what it requires. So let's see what happens now. Adapted Mako Covariant Shield Array. Let's see what happens now if we go apply that update and then see if the requirements for that are now decreased because that would tell us if that's working so reputation omega account wide gear discount hopefully I have enough of everything to do that here 100,000 boy it takes a lot doesn't it Looks like I have everything I need. Oh, it's done just like that. So I don't have to do anything else. It's just automatically claimed and done. So now when I go back to my other character, it should be cheaper. And I guess it should be cheaper on this character too. That would make sense. But I'm wondering by how much. So here is the adapted Mako Covariant Shield again. 40,000 energy credits still. 34,000 dilithium, 5 neural. Nothing has changed at all. Nothing has changed. What does that mean? Hmm. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Am I reading that correctly? Am I... And I mean, nothing has changed. Am I not doing it correctly? Am I doing something wrong? Hmm. Maybe I'm reading it incorrectly. Well, that option isn't there anymore. It's gone. So it applied something and it did something, but that option is definitely gone now. Ship module, retrain token, vanity shield, support. So there's nothing there. It's gone. It applied. It did its thing. And there's nothing in my inventory, right? Nope. So it, it did its thing, but it didn't do anything? That's really odd. I thought it was supposed to. Account wide, it's account wide it said. Account wide. I'm going to have to read up on that again because I don't know what just happened there. 
Hmm. I'm confused. Let's see what happens when we go to this character and look for something to buy. Let's say I want the uh, the shield on this character. Okay, it's reduced here. 20,000 energy credits. 17,000 dilithium. Still five Borg neural processors. Uh, and cut in half now 500 Omega Marks. So it's working on the character that I have it on but it's not working account wide on all my characters somebody's gonna have to let me know what is up because it clearly says on this thing that it's supposed to be account wide you so, see yeah it clearly says an account wide reputation gear discount account wide not character limited account wide this will discount normal marks dilithium and energy credits but yet it has not maybe I need to claim something on the other character to activate it let's check It's a bit confusing, isn't it? Oh, now it is. Maybe I just had to re I had to wait a little bit. Okay, now it's reduced. Look at that. 20,000 energy credits, 17,000 dilithium, 5 neural processors and 500 omega marks. I guess I just had to wait. It uh, took it a little bit of time. <laughs> it just took it a little bit of time. I was really worried there what was going on because I didn't quite understand it. But now it's working, okay. Yeah, 20,000, 17. You still need the same neural processors, so that doesn't change, but at least it's only half the marks now that are required. So that is a big benefit right there. So all my gear now, account-wide, in the Omega reputation is all reduced, which means I can get it for much cheaper, especially, so let's say I roll a new character, excuse me, I roll a new character, and uh, you know they don't have much on them I don't have to get I don't have to get as many marks now to get all that reputation gear on them what a benefit what a benefit I mean that really helps so if I go to another character it should be the same way now all my characters should be uh, reduced like that even my my new Jim Hadar character here let's look at him real quick Yep, 20,000, 17, 5, and then 500. So everything is reduced in half on Task Force Omega. I love that. That's great. Sweet. So I can do that for all my reputations now because my main character has all of them is going to be tier 6 real soon. So yeah, that's great. I love that. Okay, good. Some real benefits there. So here's what I'll say about the tier six reputation stuff. Number one, it took me a long time to get to tier six. It took me a very long time. It's a grind, it's a big grind for sure. But it's worth it in the end because, well, you get increased stats on all of your traits that you use. You get um, that discount for your entire account so you can unlock gear with less stuff on every character on the account. That's huge right there. You get a, uh, a module, a ship module, so you can start you know, working on fleet ships if you want. A retrain token, that's, avail that's available too. Um, you get upgraded stats on the ground weapons in the uh, gear reputation itself, plus 2% bonus uh, damage. So just some really good, you know, improved stats there just by hitting tier 6. It takes a while, but man, it's worth it. So I'm definitely going to go through and make sure, you know, all of mine are upgraded. And it's that simple. Claim tier 6. Turn in your marks. 
and claim it, and then you have tier six. Delta Alliance. That is sweet. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I use the temporal one quite a bit on this character specifically, so I'm looking forward to having those better temporal traits on this character. So sweet now, these tier six reputations, I like it. So there you go, tier six reputations, that's what you get out of it. I think it's extremely useful. Oh, we didn't look at the vanity shield, duh. That was the last thing to look at. Okay, let's do it real quick. I was about to end the video and I'm like, no, wait, we still got the vanity shield. Let's claim that. So, oh, you need 300 marks, man. Dang. Well, at least I got 15,000. <laughs> that should be fine. So I'm not sure how this differs from like the regular shield, but it's a special vanity shield. I believe it's probably a little bit different than uh, the normal Borg shield you get. So let's look at this one. Oh yeah, it's got a unique, it's got a unique view. It's got a bug, a visual bug too. Look at that. Look what it's doing to my ship. So it has some visual problems with it. <laughs> oh man, everything's flashing on it. They need to uh, double check these visuals here. And I think, yeah, I don't have a visual on that shield, so. Ooh, they got some visual problems they need to work out. But I like the looks of it. That's cool looking. So these are unique visuals that you can only get under tier 6. Because that does not look like any of the Borg shield or any of the Mako or advanced Mako. It doesn't look like anything. It's very different. Let's try the other reputation ones. I probably should do a video where I just show all of them. That would be really neat. Let's go ahead and take the one from here. This is the... Uh, Need 300 for that. Dang, it's going to wipe me out. That's the uh, counter command shield. Let's see what it looks like. Here. Counter command, yes. Oh, that's cool looking. Look how slick and silvery that looks. That is beautiful. Why do I have these stupid things following me? Somebody, like, gave me whole repair drones. Bugging the crap out of me. Ooh, that is pretty. And with the green on it, that counter command one is slick. Also, yeah, look at it in the sunlight. That is so cool looking. That is very really nice so these can look pretty darn cool now I gotta see what the uh, all of them look like let's do the Delta Alliance one I think that's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna make a video here I'm gonna get all of these or when I have all of them. I don't have the new car ready, but when I get all of these vanity shields, I think I'll make a video to show off what all of them look like. That could be interesting. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm definitely minty green on this one, but it's a light green. It's like not a dark green. It's a minty light green <laughs> well these shields are definitely unique these are not like the normal shields so I'm looking forward to trying out what all of them look like to be honest so I think I'll do that I think I'll make a video to show what all of them look like once I get them all of course 
I won't have the Gamma one for a while, though. That one will have to wait, because I'm far away from having Tier 6 on Gamma. Okay, there's also one more thing I just remembered. There's some kind of ground emote or something you can do on the ground to show that you've achieved Tier 6 reputation. And I think I have one of the icons right here. Reputation Flourish. It is a social zone ability. It targets self. Show off your reputation progress with this ability. It displays all reputations that have reached Tier 6. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this. You ready? Oh, it just basically throws out the symbols for the reputations that you've hit Tier 6 on. <laughs> and this guy's like, what have you done? <laughs> what is this? Okay. So you can, you can walk through them. They don't do anything. That's cool. Okay, so basically it's just an emote that shows off the abilities, the Tier 6 reputations you have. So when I get all the reputations done, I will have a lot of those. So that's kind of interesting and cool. I'm going to do it again. That's just a flaunt. I mean, really, it's a flaunt. Flaunt your wares. Let's do it again anyway. <laughs> Why not? Tartar grade, he can enjoy the, he can enjoy them too. And my little kitty cat. Oh, you can't have both out at the same time. Oh well. Let's let the Tartar grade have some fun. Yay. That's kinda cool. I like how it leaves like a trail behind you. That's neat looking. Okay, well, that's something. I am really interested though in these vanity shields, what all of them look like. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna claim each of my tier six reputations. Gotta wait a little bit because Nukara is not quite ready. I won't be able to show Gamma Task Force because it's far from ready. Uh, even on my other character, he's not at, he's far from tier six on it. He just hit tier 5, but he's far from tier 6. So, uh, that's going to take some time. But once I do that, I will show off all the uh, vanity shields, because I think they look quite different from the normal shields you get. So that should help separate yourself visually from others as well. Well, everybody, that's what I got on the tier 6 reputation. I think it's worth it. It's a big grind. It takes a long time. But I believe the end result is worth it because of the improved stats on the traits. You get improved weapon damage if you're using reputation, um, you know, weapons. It's not, is it space gear though or is it just, is it just ground gear? Let me look real quick. Find something with space gear on here. Space gear, um... Here's the uh, Heavy Biomolecular Disruptor Turret. Does it have increased damage? No. So it's just ground weapons, I think. So I don't think the space weapons have increased damage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that there. So I think it is just space, or ground, I mean. But anyway, all of those things combined, plus an account-wide discount on the reputation gear is extremely ben beneficial. So there you go, tier six reputation, that's what I've learned. Uh, I only opened this up last night, so this is all new information for me. But uh, if I find anything else that's new or beneficial, I will make another video, but otherwise, that's my look at the tier 6 reputations and uh, what you get out of it. And I think it's very, very much worth it to do that. So uh, definitely we'll continue to do that on all my characters. But it looks like I'm going to be, get benefits anyway from just having one character leveled up. Because I get that uh, discount on all gear from my account wide, which is nice. So anyway, I'm just rambling now. Tier 6, great. Go for it. That's what I got. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out my new updated Patreon page. You can subscribe to Patreon to support this channel. I now have Patreon only Discord access. It's a way to chat with others and myself about any topic.
Yeah.